Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's work on the problem 65 in chapter 3. In this one, this is a follow up on the problem 64. They tell us we have airplanes, uh, which is uh, try to uh, travel south. But is it, is it because there is the air, right? The air, the, the velocity of the air to, relative to ground make the airplane couldn't travel to the south. In this way, we need to adjust the airplane with an angle theta to make sure the velocity airplane to the ground is the, to the south. So in this one, we can see, in this one, we have three vectors. Uh, first one is the velocity airplane to the air, and then the velocity air, air to the ground, and the velocity ground to plane to the ground. So in this one, we find the uh, relative velocity equation. The velocity plane to the air to the ground should equal to the velocity plane to the air plus the velocity air to the ground. Do you agree? Yes. And then we can consider these velocities in the i and the j component. In this one, we can say first one, the velocity plane to the ground is just have the j component, agree, and the i component is zero, because we want to make sure it is travel to south, this one. The second one, the velocity is applied to the air, we can project this vector into component, i component and j component, and we find in this one, first one, at the i component, if we project it in this way, and this way, see, both the i and the j component are negative. Do you agree? Do you agree? So this side is the v. This this is a magnitude 580 times sine theta. So this this one and the negative side there. And the next one is this magnitude times cosine theta and negative side there because it's pointing to the negative j component and negative i component. The next one we can make the velocity airplane to the ground uh, in I and J component. And we can see this is a 45 degree. 45 degree. So the, for 45 degree, we see both the I, I component and J component are positive. So the 90 cosine 50, 45 and the 90 sine 45. And then in this one, we see we have the addition for the vectors at zero. So we can see we just look at the i component. So the, we add the i component together. So this one zero must equal to add this two i component together. And when we solve it, we find the theta is 6.3. Thank you.